Hey, what's up all you beautiful people? Brian here for Work to Game, and today I just wanted to take a little bit of time to talk to you about how I love the new Party Finder, especially since it's cross-world. So I kind of just put a just a simple little guide. I probably think that everybody's pretty familiar with it, but maybe there's somebody out there who is either intimidated by it or doesn't know. So this is just going to highlight a couple of the features as well as within the Duty Finder, finding quick access to the Party Finder to either recruit or to find if anybody's looking for somebody that you can, you know, you can connect up with and run content with. So I think this is a huge thing for the community. I think it's a great community builder. I think that uh, it continues to strengthen and embolden us as a uh, as a community. So anyway, simple, easy, quick. <laughs> uh, thanks so much, and I hope you enjoy. So the Party Finder system offers a lot of features. And so we're going to try to go over them and talk a little bit about what each of them mean and hopefully get you well introduced as well as well versed in the system of itself. The Party Finder menu can be found under your party menu in the system, but you can also get to it via this nice little icon, Party Finder. This is gonna be a main action, shows up on uh, Hotbar 8. It can be added to any of your hotbars as needed, so you can always quickly access it. So again, hovering over it, see it says Party Finder. It's a nice little, I guess, stop sign with a P in it, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it. So. For the most part, you're gonna see these are the changes right here. So you got your data center. It's gonna show you how many parties are looking for uh, across the data center, the world. So anything that's specifically just for our world. So you're gonna to wanna to do a fate. You wanna look in for free company recruiting and things like that. That's gonna be more specified to your world as well. And then private, anything that's been set up with obviously a password associated with it. This is, you can set up any party finder uh, across world or local with a party with a password so that only those that have it can get in. So you're gonna then see all, and then all the various things, roulettes, dungeons, guild has, trials, raids, PVP, quests, fates, treasure hunts, the hunt, exploratory missions, and deep dungeons. So you have a lot of options as well as this nice little other category. From here, you can easily go and say recruit members, and this is gonna bring up the recruiting screen. This gives you a lot of options. So the objective by default refer to comment. Otherwise you can say, all right, we want to do a, a roulette. Well, then which roulette do you want to do? Okay, we're going to look at expert. Are we going to require an average item level? And do we want to bump that all the way up to something that, you know, uh, is going to be a quick and easy run or whatever. With your own full party, you don't have to worry about role restrictions, but by default, the content is going to specify the roles right there. You can also click this nice little button and say that I don't care who joins, come on, come all. Here's your comment section. This is really great for your ability to communicate what you're doing and why you're doing it. You can uncheck this option to make it a world only, but by default, recruit party members for cross data center is checked. For anything that you're gonna be accessing through the duty finder, I would highly recommend keeping this on because it's gonna make the speed in which that you get matches much faster. You can specify a easy uh, to use password up to four digits. We'll just say one, two, three, four to keep it simple. And then here is the play style in which that you can say, well, newcomers, urgent, uh, will complete until duty, multiple runs for loot. You can tell the, you can hit these check boxes so that everybody who is now joining in will have a good idea of what the content, what to expect, as well as the language that you're supported. In this case, all of them are checked by default, but you can always turn that off and specify as necessary. Hitting recruit's gonna just go right into the recruiting. Uh, pretty simple and straightforward from there. And that's just one aspect of this. The real strength of this comes actually from the duty finder itself. So if you guys actually go and access your duty finder, you've probably noticed for a long time, several little numbers over here on the right hand side. Clicking into any of the dungeons, let's see if we can, there's one right here. Uh, you can see that somebody's recruiting for this particular dungeon. So instead of selecting the dungeon and then queuing for it, you can actually click over to the one and you can do two options. You can say, I'm gonna go and recruit members for this content, or you can see who's recruiting for this content. And so right now, it looks like somebody is trying to run this dungeon and they're looking for a tank. You can tell because of the color. Green's healer, blue's tank, and red is DPS. So I would encourage you guys, especially uh, before ever really kind of doing anything, take a look at those numbers. See if there's anything that out there that you wanna specify. Now, if you wanted to do something interesting, you could always say, recruit members, and it's gonna bring up that recruiter tool that we showed off just a little bit ago. This is really great for encouraging you to form parties, to form that community. So this is also one of the really, I guess, highlight features of patch 3.5. Having it really work across the world 
has made for way more interesting parties, and I think it's actually strengthened and emboldened the community. Part of what kind of couples with that is this concept of the contact list. This is going to show you who you've played with and when what server they're on as you've played with them. It's only gonna show you up to the last 50 players that you've played with, but this is a really good idea to see if you're ended up being teamed up with the other people from your server, and you might wanna reach out again for a link shell or just to be friends or just communicate with them if that you had a good experience. Hopefully this will help continue to encourage players to gather together, to band together and forge friendships that will last a lifetime. So anyhow, <laughs> it's a simple system. I highly recommend you check it out, especially with the duty finder being kind of that dice roll. You never know what you're going to get. And there's sometimes that's fun and sometimes there's no issues. But I would encourage you that if you're somebody who's always used the duty finder and you haven't checked out the party finder to give it a shot. Anyway, for work to game, my name is Brian. Let's go ahead and pound it. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.